Time is 6.53. Let's take a look at the stories we're following as you head out the door. This morning, new details. Two more women face criminal charges in a hazing incident at Oakwood University. 22-year-old Karina Tuckett and 24-year-old Von Shi Arthur are both charged with hazing. Tuckett also faces a felony assault charge. They join Alicia Doolin, who was arrested and released last month. Huntsville police say the incident happened back in February and involved the Alpha Sigma Delta sorority. In Limestone County, a family is now searching for a new place to live after their home caught fire on Howard Street. We're told their family dog died in the fire. The couple was in Tuscumbia for Christmas when the fire started. Fire crews determined the fire started on the back patio. Four different fire crews in Morgan County spent their Christmas battling a blaze on Round Top Road. That's near Falkville. One person was taken to the hospital. We learned the mobile home was destroyed. The cause of the fire has not yet been determined. Marie. A Tennessee suspect is behind bars this morning in connection to a deadly stabbing. Police arrested this man, Michael Mosley, yesterday in Chatham County. You can see him being taken into custody by police there. Mosley surrendered after officers surrounded the home where he was staying. Investigators say Mosley stabbed three people at a bar, including Clayton Bethard. He is the brother of an NFL quarterback. Bethard and another man both died from their injuries. Right now, Mosley is charged with criminal homicide. Megan? An Alabama man originally wanted on theft charges is now facing child pornography charges. Police say Benjamin Norris stole electronics from a Jefferson County Sam's Club. Officers say he left his phone at the store. And during the investigation, authorities identified hundreds of images containing child porn on the phone. Carson. We're still